Hi, for this video, what we are going to do is we are going to take a polynomial equation. In this case, it's a six degree polynomial. Um, and we are going to solve this equation using a U substitution since it's in quadratic form. The reason that it's in quadratic form is because X to the sixth is really X to the third squared. So if I squared this value in the middle right here, that would give me a squared right here. Um, so this is really x to the third squared. So what we're going to do is instead of working with x to the third, I'm going to take and I'm going to let u equal the middle term. So whatever this value is in the middle, I'm going to let that equal u. So you can always use a different variable to just substitute it in. Since x to the sixth, like I said, is really x to the third squared. All I'm doing is I'm going to replace this x to the third here and this x to the third with u. So I can rewrite this as u squared plus 7u minus 8 equals 0. And now what we simply have is a quadratic equation. So with this, what we did was we just simplified it to a quadratic equation where we can rewrite it or we can factor it. So remember for factoring, we're looking for two numbers that multiply together to give you negative eight that add up to be seven. So if you need to write it out, it's always helpful so that you know what you're doing. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply together to give me negative eight that add up to be the middle number of seven. So since this one is negative, that does tell me I need a positive and a negative. Since this one is positive, that tells me that my positive value has to be larger. So 8 times negative 1 gives me negative 8, and 8 plus negative 1 gives me 7. So I'm going to rewrite this as u plus 8, um, u plus 8 times u minus 1, I was trying to skip steps, equals 0. So we can say that u plus 8 equals 0, or u equals negative 8 or u equals positive 1. We have to remember that u is not what we are looking for. Remember that our original equation, we let u um, replace x to the third. So we have to go back and now just rewrite it as x to the third equals negative 8, or x to the third equals negative 1. So what we're going to do here is we're really going to take the cube root of this because to undo the third power, we would take the cube root of both sides. So we're looking for what number times itself three times would give me negative eight. In that case, it would be negative two because negative two times negative two is positive four. And positive four times negative two is negative eight. We would do the same thing with the one and one is easy because any root, um, one to any root is always going to be one because one times one times one is going to give us one. So our two possible solutions are x equals negative two or x equals one. We always want to check our values to see if they work back in the original equation. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to plug it back into this original equation here. And so I would say that negative 2 to the 6th power plus 7 times negative 2 to the 3rd power. And make sure that if you are plugging this into your calculator that you do indeed put it in parentheses exactly how I have it. Um, if you do not, your calculator is liable to give you the wrong answer. Um, negative 2 to the 6th power, remember, means negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Since it's an even number, it's going to give me a positive 64. Um, for this one, because of the fact that this is negative and this is odd, it's going to give us a negative value. So um, negative 2 to the third power gives us negative 8. And then if I simplify this further, I get 64 minus 56 minus 8 equals 0, which is indeed a true statement. Um, 64 minus 56 gives us 8, and 8 minus 8 equals 0. So we know that this is indeed one of our solutions. For the second value, what we're going to do is we're just going to replace it with 1, and 1 is even easier because 1 to the 6th power is just 1, and 1 to the 3rd power is just 1. Um, so this one's a lot easier to use um, without 
plugging it into a calculator or anything else. So this is really just 1 plus 7 minus 8 equals 0. And we can see that 1 plus 7 is 8, and 8 minus 8 is indeed 0. So we know that this does work. Um, depending upon which text you are using or what your professor or your teacher's expectations are, you can rewrite this as in set, not set notation saying that x such that x equals 1 or x equals negative 2 is one way of writing it. Sometimes it's also just written as 1 comma negative 2 in set notation. As always, thanks for watching.